Pinto Madness, a case study in ethics. In the late 1960s, fuel-efficient German and Japanese cars started gaining popularity in the U.S. market. Ford President Lee Iacocca wanted a new car that weighs less than 2,000 pounds and sells for under $2,000 to compete with the imports. They rushed the development process to two years. Ford launched the Pinto for 1971 model year. It's much smaller than the mainstream American cars at that time. People liked the car. More than 350,000 Pintos were sold in the first year. But there is a deadly engineering flaw in this new car. The exploding gas tank. A rear-end collision over 30 miles per hour can easily cause the Pinto to leak gasoline and burst into flames. In 1972, Ford did cost-benefit calculations. Option A, fix the car. Option B, pay the victims. $137 million versus $49 million. Ford decided to save the cost and not to fix the car. Mother Jones Magazine believed that more than 500 deaths and injuries were linked to the Pinto gas tank issue. Finally, Ford recalled the Pinto in 1978, but it was too late to save Ford's reputation. The customers filed 117 lawsuits. Ford Pinto ended production in 1980, and it became an infamous business ethics example. Pinto Madness rated explosive.